Hi, uh, welcome to the second in a series of short videos from Informed Choice Limited supporting Financial Planning Week. My name is Nick Bamford, I'm Executive Director at Informed Choice. And I'm Andrew Nelligan and I'm Financial Planning Director. We want to talk about a subject um, in this video that a lot of people um, I guess are uncomfortable with and that's the subject of making commitments. So you're probably at that stage of your life where all kinds of different things are happening to you from a financial perspective. It goes without saying people should budget and have an emergency fund. What other commitments should this uh, group think about? Well, is it where you're going to start to be uh, looking to have a house or uh, maybe uh, a, a bigger house? Um, when you're looking at family, so you need more space. So you're thinking about mortgage uh, commitments uh, and how much you can uh, borrow and are prepared to borrow to get the house that you, you wish and you require. So there it's about not overextending yourself, having too much debt um, in case we go through another downturn. Um, or an extended downturn as we're experiencing yeah. now, um, which means that you can't uh, repay the cost of your the mortgage you might have. Right. I was talking to a mortgage broker the other day and asking him a question about how do you get the best deals in the mortgage market. Really quite scary because he was suggesting you need about a 25% deposit, have a good choice of uh, mortgage products. Absolutely, there. and that um, suggests it's very important for you to understand what your priorities and your goals are. And if it is about having a, a bigger home or a first home, is giving yourself enough time to build up a deposit right. so you can have uh, as little debt with a mortgage provider as possible. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have parents with the, the financial means, it might be an opportunity for them to, to pass money down to you. What do you mean, go and sponge off that? Go and sponge off money really down. <laughs> so, so commitments, so mortgages, probably at the same time, people think about families. Absolutely. Um, insurance, where it comes up, I guess. That's right, um, and if you've got a, a large debt system in a mortgage, you want to think about term assurance. So should you or spouse um, die, you don't want to leave a big debt to anyone, but also like sort of income protection, um, so should you not be able to work, you know, you've got income coming in on a, a regular basis. Right. Um, also think about wills as well, um, because the laws of intestacy are very restrictive um, for, for young families, particularly where you're starting to have children as well, and you lose the control of, of how your so mind is passed Making a will doesn't mean you're going to die, is that what you're saying? I thought always thought that was something you put people off doing. It doesn't mean you're going to die, no, it just mean uh, you're planning just in case uh, the unfortunate does happen. Right. What about long term, into the future, what about retirement absolutely um if the sooner you can start building up for your retirement the better um and it comes down to understanding when you want to retire how much risk you're willing to take and how much money you can afford to put away for the long term okay so summarize that um you know make sure that you've got the best possible mortgage deal talk to an independent mortgage broker uh, make sure you've got the budget in place emergency fund these things go without saying and as andrew was saying there you know planning for the future is about protection and about building wealth as well um, so a lot of things to think about when you're making those commitments to family and property.